Hey guys, okay, so uh, recently I did a video on how to um, set up a Genesis character model and demonstrate how we can uh, refine uh, the uh, geometry down to uh, uh, the uh, necessary elements that uh, we need for our project, uh, Urban Terror, as to uh, our needs for just the, basically the heads as we are building the clothing for the entire character. So there's a lot of geometry in here that we don't need uh, as far as um, heads goes. Uh, uh, plugged in and uh, a Lego snap to uh, to our character models, our player models, I should say. And uh, the easy way to do that for us would be just to s select uh, uh, a um, element of the character. You can select individual uh, s selections to uh, refine the uh, m the model down to what we need. So if we need just the hands, for example, we can just select the uh, wrist part here, and we can select the shoulder part there and hide that until we just have the hands. Uh, we don't need the legs, we'll, so we can hide that. And uh, torso, bottom port, tor part of the torso, etc. And then when we export this, everything uh, is uh, copacetic as far as uh, our needs go. But uh, it was kind of mentioned to me that, uh, you know, some someone might need to have something a little bit more refined as to be able to export the entire model particularly if you're using uh, morph tar targets or what have you, or having a, 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 um, a base uh, character from which to hang clothing onto the character model. Now, it does, uh, it does do a fair job of, uh, of gluing uh, clothing to the, to the player model as exported, but uh, you, run, you can run into poke-through problems in specific areas that are not really covered by the, uh, the hiding of the... Of the of the element until you get to uh, what it is that you need and you need a little bit more refinement as far as hiding parts that uh, are poking through so for example if we uh, drop that down we can see in the scene uh, I did up a couple of test examples of, uh, of, of a character model that was exported with clothing and, and hair and what have you and if we hit play you can see that uh, we're kind of poking through in various different areas, which is rather annoying. Now, the way to be able to deal with that, uh, with those problematic areas, of course, is uh, you can uh, do it the hard way by going to uh, exporting the uh, the clothing out to uh, to another 3D app like Blender or Maya or 3ds Max, and uh, and rework the uh, the weight tables until the poke through kind of disappears. But it's not really a feasible solution to uh, deal with uh, any kind of movement. Now, as a, a quick tip, uh, throwing on some uh, uh, dynamic movement like uh, dancing and what have you uh, will quickly um, bring these problematic areas to light, as you can see, uh, uh, quite simp e simply and easily without having to do uh, any um, aggressive type of uh, testing. So that's why animators animate dance movements, <laughs> even though it does look kind of silly. And not, not uh, character specific, unless uh, we're doing uh, Urban Terror the Musical. Uh, so uh, we, want to get, we want to get rid of this poke through with uh, as little effort as possible. And uh, we can do that by just masking off the various areas and making them disappear so uh re realistically speaking the uh the surface area is still there it's just uh it's just hidden from view now to kind of demonstrate so we can kind of see what's going on here uh here is a full body version that uh, we can uh, place some masks on and uh and hide parts that are being rather problematic so we can see down at the bottom part of the torso area here um we have that poke through problem and issue but at the same time uh, we want to be um, a little bit preventive uh, measures uh, attached to uh, to our uh, uh, materials to hide areas that are not necessary for supporting the uh, the, the, uh, the textures so um, now why would we would we want to mask uh, a full figure or even use a full figure is of course is uh, as uh, as we uh, 
develop more and more clothing items that will fit our character or player model um, we can just uh, uh, snap them to the rig but uh, as uh, as the uh, the amount of clothing uh, starts to accumulate uh, we need to see of course more and more body elements or hide elements that are doing this poke through uh, issue that we see here so to begin with, the legs is a big chunk of, uh, of uh, mesh data that we would want to hide. So we would uh, simply go to our legs, bring our material up for that uh, item. And uh, right now it's kind of plain chain. And uh, first thing we want to do is take our material here and switch our blend mode to mask by a dro drop down. So we have mask set up and we want to create a uh, mask uh, uh, element. So in this case, press one. It, you know, it's a real simple type of uh, uh, one value. And if we look at it, it's all black. If we set this to one and give it a second or two, all white. Uh, it represents the uh, visible area. So anything that's white is visible. Anything that is black is invisible. So now if we take that and we plug it into our opacity mask slot, our uh, object on the screen, wait for it to kind of uh, do a redraw thing, boom, gone. Okay, so uh, that uh, will uh, hide that uh, area, our legs, from view. And give it a second or two to uh, recompile the, uh, the uh, shader. Okay, give it a Okay, a little slow today, isn't it? Okay, so ta-da! The legs, the bottom part of the legs have, uh, have vanished. And then uh, we can say, okay, the torso area is still going to be uh, affected. So let's uh, transfer our mask masking step over to the legs of our uh, uh, our test character here. which I've already set up and done. So you can see our materials for our legs for our, uh, our test, uh, animated test character is already been applied and is all black. So the legs just over here, although you can't see it as part of a, a single unified character model is uh, not apparent because you can't see it through, through the pant legs. Uh, but we can see, obviously, that we have a problem here with the uh, torso area. So, uh, well, we can use the same idea on that if we, if, uh, if we had uh, kind of a full clothing um, setup here. But the uh, problem is, if we uh, select the torso, uh, a little hard to find. Okay, there's our material for our torso. Let's do let's let's do that little trick as to the torso and see what happens so we've got uh, zero which is all black which means uh, when we plug this into our opacity mask you can see i have it already set up but it would usually be opaque so we set that to mask that gives us the opacity mask slot so we plug our all black into that and we do an apply and let's see what happens uh, just a little sip of coffee here <coughs> getting a little dried out and as you can see we have a bit of a problem in that uh, the torso has been uh, unified as a single component of our character which solves our, pro our poke through problem down here but the upper part of the torso disappears which is obviously what we don't want so let's go ahead and break that chain here and uh, make a much more refined mask to mask out the areas that uh, we don't want visible by bringing up uh, 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 some sort of uh, editor, 2D editor, in this case, uh, Photoshop. <clears throat> now, we're going to kind of wing it. You know, we can set up templates to kind of get uh, a, a much more accurate uh, masking of this uh, area. So we want the, so we can see here this uh, uh, texture sample uh, is the uh, body texture for the torso. 
and uh, we want the bottom half to be covered but uh, the, uh, and hidden where we want the top part to be revealed and visible so using Photoshop or any kind of uh, texture editing uh, application GIMP is uh, a free uh, app that you might want to check out and uh, I've already set up uh, a 1024 by 1024 sample and I'm going to do a selection and draw that so I can do a fill it's been a while since I've used Photoshop and do a bucket fill of the bottom area that we want to make disappear and uh, And that case is a, a, a top white and a bottom black so whatever's up top here is visible and what's down the bottom down here is invisible so uh, let me do a save off I'm gonna do that off screen because I don't want to cruise my hard drive on screen uh, so we do a save as yeah okay this gets me basically where I want it to be and uh, we'll make a, a mask into our source directory one as a, and save it as a simple JPEG so we don't have to deal with uh, alpha masking and, and stuff like that it's not required and uh, the texture complexity doesn't re really need any kind of uh, detailed high resolution let's uh, decrease the uh, the files now uh, we'll leave it large jpeg is actually pretty cheap and besides when we import it it gets converted to a format that uh, that is understood by uh, uh, unreal 4. okay let's pull this off to one side and uh, we will uh, deal with our test here okay now another reason you probably would want to do, do this this way is so uh, we can start saving different types of masks now we could do this uh, easily as a procedural using the gradient so if that does the job for you then uh, by all means go ahead now let's go ahead and uh, go to our source directory looking for it so there it is okay mask one JPEG pull that off to one side so we can drag and drop that into our storage hmm you know importing from dual monitor sometimes is problematic okay so there's our, there's our mask uh, to hide the bottom part and show the top part uh, okay so to kind of demonstrate that over here uh, we can uh, go ahead and select torso and there's our test as you can see I've already done a kind of uh, a run through and we'll drag our mask onto our material and then we'll take that move that up there I'm going to take this <laughs> delete that out and we will plug uh, into our opacity mask slot and half of our sphere should disappear I'm a poet and didn't even know it okay there we go so now you can see that uh, half of the, uh, the geometry has been uh, or half of the uh, um, yeah the half of the geometry has kind of disappeared as if we uh, had basically taken it and deleted it out so if we go ahead and hit the apply button let's see what happens to our little test sample here our, high, our uh, full body uh, uh, test dummy and uh, give the, uh, the uh, shader a little bit of time to recompile and wait for it yeah it's taking a little bit of time isn't it hmm there you go so the bottom part has disappeared but it's maintained the shoulder so uh, selecting our material for our test character our, our dancing test character to make things easier to find <gasps> torso and there's a torso material that we did a quick uh, a quick mask type of setup To an apply so we can see that the that our shoulder should reappear 
Okay, once again, we're waiting for the uh, shader to recompile. Our shoulders are back to where they should be, but of course, our poke through problem is uh, once again has appeared. So we can take that uh, material that we just made. I'll pull this off to one screen, off to one side for just a sec. I had to uh, to our uh, folder that we put our test material. We're going to grab our uh, mask, throw that onto our torso for our uber bad guy. Uh, put that onto our opacity mask slot. That's uh, kind of pointed out. Here it is. So uh, this mask is uh, yes, no, one, zero. Uh, so anything that's black it disappears. Anything that's white will be shown, invisible. So we'll go ahead, pull that off to one side, hit the apply button and uh, watch this area down here. And if it works the way it's supposed to, our little poke through problem will disappear. Boom, gone. It's still actually recompiling the shader. So I'll give that a minute. There we go. Boom, gone. But our shoulders have, uh, are, are uh, back again once again. So this is just a quickie of, uh, of a, a rather simple uh, opacity mask. Uh, we could refine this even more if we want to, to uh, make uh, uh, more area disappear to prevent any kind of uh, possibility of poke through occurring. So when we hit the play button, Okay, that's not poke through that is that is just uh, light showing through the holster <laughs> kind of freaked out whoa wait a minute that didn't get uh, masked out so um, yeah that should be uh, more than enough info as to how to uh, use a single uh, uh, the entire the entire character model uh, to point it out too as well uh, somebody's going to say well isn't adding all those vertices and everything else uh, added to uh, the morph target uh, going to add uh, weight? Uh, the answer to that is no, it won't, because the uh, most morphers, what they'll do is they'll only record the vertices that move, not the entire number of vertices that makes up, 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 up the, uh, the character model as a total whole. So this would be over, let's say, 30,000 normally. So you can see that if we started saving 30,000 uh, or the vertices, the uh, memory footprint would uh, get rather massive. But uh, in this case, the morpher only saves the uh, information of the, of the target itself that has moved and not all the vertices that makes up the character model. Okay, so that's a quick how-to. I uh, use uh, a mask to hide parts of the uh, subsurface of the character model uh, and uh, not have to deal with uh, poke through issues as they um, show up so for example we probably have uh, as you can see we have problems with the hands poking through so we probably want to make a much more refined map to uh, allow the fingers to show through our glove this gloves but at the same time hide the uh, the areas that uh, are, don't need to be visible okay uh, that's enough to be uh, be uh, dangerous i guess okay see you catch you on the next quickie quick uh tutorial